Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about datum reference frame. Uh, whenever we take a part, we have to bring this part to a stable condition. We have to uh, constrain all the movement so that the machining is accurate and the inspection is also accurate. So if you want to bring the part to a stable condition, then we have to arrest all the degrees of freedom. You are aware that there are totally six degrees of freedom three linear movement and then rotary movement along those three linear movements totally six. Now if you want to arrest all the six degrees of freedom then you have to take the help of datum reference frame. So here I have a model to demonstrate datum reference frame. What I do is I just keep this part onto one of the plane now. Just by keeping this part onto a plane we are able to arrest three degrees of freedom. It cannot move in this direction. It cannot rotate like this. It cannot rotate like this. Now out of six, we have constrained three degrees of freedom. Three more are pending. What we do, we bring this component and then, then rest, rest it along the next perpendicular plane. This plane is perpendicular to this plane. Now what will happen? It cannot move in this direction nor rotate in this direction. So when we rest the part onto the second datum plane, it will constrain two degrees of freedom. Only possibility is it can move in this direction. Now what I am going to do, I am just going to butt it against this surface. Now what will happen? This movement is also arrested. So whenever we have a planar surface, if we want to arrest all the degrees of freedom, then we have to rest it like this, butt it against another plane and then butt it against the third plane so that this will become to a stable condition. The very first surface what we take for resting is called primary datum. The second plane what we take is called as a secondary datum. The third plane what we take is called tertiary datum. So a datum reference frame is always a three mutually perpendicular planes and this will become the origin of measurement.